we're going to take a quick look at Puppy Linux today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, Puppy Linux is a nice lightweight distribution that um, runs on older computers. It's uh, about 100, uh, I downloaded an ISO for this and it was 130 megs, so pretty small actually. And I'm surprised with how much it contains in such a small package. Additionally, everything in this operating system loads into memory, which gives it nice, quick, and, you know, uh, a quick and fast feel. Now, one thing I would like to point out, if you're using a newer computer and you have more than more than four gigs of RAM installed, Puppy will not see it. This is because it is a 32-bit operating system, and much like any 32-bit operating systems, Windows included, it will not see more than four gigs of RAM unless you're running a PAE kernel. Now, I had a chance to look through Puppy Linux earlier today, and I could not find one in its repositories. Additionally, I'm not going to do any tutorials on Puppy Linux because of the fact that this is something that ICOS does, and uh, I'll, have hit, I'll have that information in the show notes. So if you haven't run into ICOS, I recommend that you check his channel. He has all of the how-tos and everything you could possibly want to know on Puppy Linux is listed there. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a quick look at this. Okay, first I want to point out, I believe that this is using the open box uh, for navigation. Uh, that's certainly what it looks like. I did a right click here and I was able to uh, come up with the different menus and that sort of thing. It has some customizations that you can do with this as well. You can go on your desktop you can change your desktop settings here, and there's a number of things listed, theme chooser, screen locking, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. This this spot, and the thing is, the nice thing about this is, you know, uh, it's a quick download. It's, it's so small in file size and easy to burn on a CD. So, I mean, and there are a number of cool little tools this comes with. It has a nice, simple paint program. Nothing too fancy. It's very lightweight, as I said, so... This will run on your uh, old computer. It doesn't need that much memory. As a matter of fact, I think the uh, minimum was uh, 256 megs of RAM. Wow, 256 megs. That's archaic. But at any rate, hey, this is a recent Linux distribution. It does it all. It's got uh, all kinds of really cool things in here. Um, you have uh, desktop settings you can go into here. Um, all kinds of other little settings for desktop in system. Uh, you have system status and configuration. You uh, have a number of other things. In setup here is where uh, you have the puppy package manager, which, to, in my opinion, I feel is a little bit limited. I saw that there was some software in this thing, but, um, you know, it didn't seem like there was a whole lot in each of these categories. Now, that's not to say that, you know, um, that's not to say, you know, maybe these are just the most popular items that they're showing here. Um, I don't know. I haven't really given this much chance. I, I really haven't played with it that much. I know Icy told me that if I tried Puppy Linux, I would want to immediately install it on my system and uh, never go back to Pingai OS. Well, guess what? That's not happening. Uh, now, uh, something else I wanted to mention. If you want a 64-bit version of Puppy Linux, there is a distribution, I believe it's called Fat Dog, and um, it's based on Puppy Linux. I haven't had a chance to download that or look at it. I'm really happy with my Pingai OS, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be changing uh, anytime soon. As a matter of fact, uh, I know that Pin Guy is going to be coming out with uh, 1110, and I can't wait to get my fingers dirty, especially if he gets Mate as the um, as the uh, as the uh, desktop shell, which is a uh, fork of Genome. That'll be really great. Um, but there are a number of things that you can get for this. I'm uh, going through here, and I can see that there there are a number of programs. Also, there's this is something else I didn't really get a chance to look at. I want to check this out. 
in, uh, set up here, you also have uh, the Quick Pet install popular programs. Now something else to note about this is the fact that is the fact that this doesn't use dev packages. Puppy Linux has its own package management system called PET. So if you're switching from Ubuntu to Puppy Linux, uh, you're going to have to find different packages. Unfortunately, I did a, a review of Alien earlier, and I did not see an option for switching your saved dev packages over to PET. So you may have to find a version for this operating system as well. But at any rate, there are some uh, programs here that are listed, uh, popular programs that you can just go ahead and grab real quickly, and uh, it will install them. So pretty neat what, what they're offering here. They also have drivers uh, if you want. I really don't recommend uh, the proprietary drivers, but if you're using a Radeon or um, you're using a Radeon or Intel cards, go for the Zorg High. It's a, it's a pretty good driver. I'm using this now on my system, and I like it. And uh, it looks like there's all kinds of uh, good stuff here. So that's neat. And uh, a quick run through of um, programs that it comes with for graphics. You have a, a picture viewer, screenshot browser, uh, Ink Light. Huh, I didn't know Inkscape made a light version. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll have to pull that down and see if there's any advantages over uh, using Inkscape. I love vector drawing, but I'm still using Flash because I'm so used to its drawing tools and everything. Okay, but a number of things here in Documents. You get the Abbey Word uh, program. I like this. I used that in Windows, and I thought it was a really good program. would be nice to see a uh, full Office suite such as LibreOffice, but then again, Having the having those uh, programs running, I imagine, uh, require more memory, more processor, that sort of thing, and that is not this uh, operating system's primary focus. It is wonderful for netbooks or or any old computers that you have in the closet collecting dust. So, all right, and uh, we have business, uh, home banking, finance management, calculator, measure and units converter, and personal. You have. Um, a few things here. I haven't seen any of these before and I'm not going to take the time to mess with them. Um, some network tools, internet tools, transmission. So, I mean, it looks like it looks pretty competent here, especially squeezed into such a small file size. That's pretty good. Okay, and it even has a few games thrown in here. So, um, we can uh, press fire to start here. Alright, and it's even got a game on it. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, for the Space Invaders clone. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not too shabby. Um, although it could use some updated graphics. But at any rate, it is what it is. So that's the uh, that's the quickie on Puppy OS, uh, the uh, Puppy installation. I think it's kind of cool. Um, definitely not for me, but if you have an old computer and you want something that's going to run nice and quick, this is the one to get. If you're looking for something 64-bit, uh, I'd say uh, I'd say um, go for Pin Guy OS. It, it it's just got the best of uh, everything that. Ubuntu and Linux Mint are known for, plus uh, it has a bunch of really cool goodies thrown in. Um, I don't know, maybe if uh, somebody, you know, uh, maybe if I get an old computer, um, you know, um, I always get people's computer hand-me-downs from time to time, and I'll fix them up and give them away. But if I get another computer, what I'll go, do, go ahead and do is throw this on there and maybe uh, muck about with this a little bit more. Well, that's all I have. If you thought this was useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Um, also, uh, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. The instructions are on my channel. Thank you for watching. Thanks for uh, your feedback. And we'll see you again next time.